portion of this video is sponsored by Direct TV Stream. Mission, mission, peeps, it's Chris Bellani, and welcome back to the channel today. I got Zach and James, and today we're gonna get to the bottom of figuring out, you know, what do we think these TV shows should be on a tier list? S being the best, you know, best show ever. F being like, come on, uh, that's getting skipped. And basically, I have some top shows here where we're just gonna talk about our favorite shows. Maybe we haven't seen a show, but we know about it. And you guys play along at home, make your own tier list. I'll leave a link down below. Let us know in the comment section below which tier list you relate to most. Before we get into the tier list, this portion of the video is sponsored by DirecTV. Have you ever been left frustrated, confused, or just straight up disappointed from cable services? I know I have. That's where DirecTV saves the day with their new streaming service, DirecTV Stream. With DirecTV Stream, you can stream your favorite shows anytime, anywhere, and your device of choice. It's the all-in-one solution that brings together movies, news, and live sports, plus access to the most talked about original content. You can access HBO Max, Netflix, Amazon Prime, MTV, Newswatch, and so much more. You can guarantee you'll never miss out on something to watch. It's the best of live and on-demand TV, all on your favorite screens. And that's not the craziest part. The craziest part is you can stream up to 20 devices at the same time. Yes, I said that right. 20 devices, super crazy, super easy to set up. Direct TV stream, man. They crazy. It's super easy to use and install. You can plug it in, have it do its self setup, and you're up and running, ready to watch your favorite channels, movies, and TV shows. And if you have the DirecTV Stream exclusive streaming device, you'll be stoked to hear there's a voice remote that you can use with your Google Assistant to make your experience even easier. With Free Express, no contact delivery, you're pretty much getting that premium VIP service right from the jump. They're super clear about everything from their device setup to their package deals, so you won't be caught out on any hidden fees. So guys, make sure you click that link down in the description to learn more about DirecTV Stream and what they can do for you. Shout out to DirecTV Stream for sponsoring this part of the video. Now let's get back to the tier list. So, boys, getting right into it. I'm a connoisseur, bro, I'm gonna just warn you. I am the opposite of a connoisseur. We I do. do 85 of these shows. Do you guys watch a lot of TV shows? Yeah, not personally. Not personally? Okay, you know, some of us watch anime here and there. You know. We gotta start with the banger. The Walking Dead. Walking Dead. Now, I personally stopped watching after season four, I think, season three. There's a lot of seasons. See, that's the thing. If I had to stop watching or I kind of fell off of it after a certain number of seasons, I can't put it S tier. I can't either. Cause you gotta finish that. That's a, good, that's a good point. But for the credibility of the show, because if you do have multiple seasons, it's gotta be a good show. Yeah, for sure. So for me, I'm just gonna place this at A, just because I did enjoy it. Um, oh, man, it's so nostalgic, the first few seasons. Yeah, it's Carl, Carl. What yeah. about you, James? Have you I watched, watched it? A half of two episodes. I thought it was kind of boring, so I'll put it in the B tier. B tier for boring? Okay, that's. that's I'm gonna nice. go. I'm gonna go B just because of the the fall off was dramatic. Yeah, I heard. All right, boys. Um, let's just knock out shows we're not really familiar with. I myself, Peaky Blinders. If I put it, you know, in the F, it's because I failed to watch it. So. That's where this Peaky oh. Blinders is. Let me know in the comments if this is a show I should peek at. I love British television. I've never seen Peaky Blinders, but I have seen the trailer like six times, and the trailer's really good. So I'm gonna put it at C, because I think the show would be good if I had never heard of it. Then? No, never heard of it. Never heard of it. So it's okay. Maybe we'll check it out, you know? Let's go uh, F is for family. This is new. Ooh, this looks like a kid's show. No, this is a I don't think this is a kid's show based off the animation. Nah, bro. The show is hilarious. You yes, have not seen this yet. I'm watching. How many seasons? I think there's three so far. F is for family and it's also going in the F tier for me. Like I said, like I said, I need to watch it. You know what? I'll put it in E just because Zach did give nice reviews. It's kind of like a better family guy. Better? Yeah. That's it's bold. Like, it's it's a different guy. type of comedy, obviously, but for me, I enjoy it more, and there's more of a story to it than Family Guy. Dexter. Oh. Come on, bro. It didn't have text on it, man, and I have not watched Dexter, but I know this show is goaded. I haven't watched. I haven't had time. Every single moment of this show is goaded, up until the literal last 10 minutes of the last 
episode of the last season. Yikes, so like Game of Thrones? Exactly. Okay. But it is still S tier. I'm gonna put it in my D tier because that's what the show starts with and I have not watched it. What about you, James? Have you seen it? I failed to watch it. This isn't meant to be hating. This is meant to be, I don't exactly. have Exactly, exactly, guys. Opinion. All these shows are pretty good. Like, these are top shows that you can watch. Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Now they have a solid cast here from what I see. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest, failed to watch this. Um, the clips I have seen, wasn't too impressed, but I love Andy Samberg, so we're gonna throw that in B tier. B tier, you know, Brooklyn Nine-Nine, see Terry Crews, one other guy, I forget the other, I don't, what's his name? Yeah, that weird looking dude, yeah. he's always kind of funny. He's always funny as fuck, so I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put this at the C. Oh, I see you put that. Have you seen it? Yeah, I've watched a lot of Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Oh yeah? It's yeah. decent, but it's kind of like... Do I throw it back to the C-tier, yo? I, it's not a B, trust. It's, it's, not, it's, a B. it's not a B. You can't put it at Walking Dead. It's good, but it's not a B. I'll, I'll throw it at the C. Yeah. And guys, we'll have time to make final adjustments at the end of this. So let's move on over to uh, Daredevil. Ow. I've seen Daredevil, but not the original series. You never seen it? No, it's I'll good. Talk. I was just curious. Guys, I picked a lot of shows because I was curious what James and Zach have seen. Maybe you guys in the comment section. I have seen a lot of the remaining ones. Oh yeah, that's why I'm leaving them. I'm leaving them up there for discussion. Just picking the ones I haven't seen, which, uh... Dude, I've seen all of these. Pretty much. Okay, Bojack Horseman. Ooh. Dude, I've only seen the trailers, and the trailers are hilarious. Bojack That's go, dude, That's bro. where I'm at. I'm gonna give it an A. I'm gonna yeah. give this a B. Um, just a good... I need to check it out for myself. Even Jade likes Bojack. Well, let's move on <laughs> to Ballers. Now, this is a this is a good show. I've I've watched a couple episodes. I love The Rock. It's a pretty cool concept. I'm, I'm gonna put it at B. I'm gonna I'm gonna put this at B. You know, no, no, no. I just haven't seen it. All right, let's go with The cool. Simpsons. Good Simpsons show. has been around since Bro. we were fucking. Any children. show that has over 20 seasons. It's an S tier. It, it's gotta be S tier. I bro. used to watch this There's religiously. So much shit based on it. I'm gonna put that in my S. There's just so much, bro. Video games that I've played. Yeah, the crazy taxi game was good. Road Rage. Was it what was it called? Road Rage. Simpsons Road Rage. Yeah, yeah. that shit. That was that was gone. Dude, the movie was pretty good. The movie was good. Uh, Their Halloween episodes every year are fire. Universal they the future. theme park. You know, they literally they predict the future. All right, Westworld. Now West this World. is a this is a great show. I I watched half a season. Again, it's one of those things that I I know I have to pay attention to every little thing, and that's why I kind of stopped. because I was just falling in and out of sleep, you know. I like watching TV when I go to bed, and this is not a show to tune into when you're going to bed. All right, Marco. Dude, the first two seasons of this show were fucking amazing. My first S. This shit was so good. First S. Now, I myself, I think, uh, Bree and I watched a few episodes, and it, it was good. But because I haven't seen it, I'm giving it a B, even though I know it's probably be an A or S. I just haven't watched it. I don't I'm gonna go C. Just because everybody says it's amazing. And now we're getting into the goats. We'll start with Friends. Overrated. I will say on the comedy aspect, it's overrated just given like, we're a new era, I believe. Dude, I feel like old TV shows be kind of overrated. It's not an S tier. You know, I know some of you out there probably think it is, but I will give it an A. It's not my type of comedy, bro. It's not my type of it, show. It's, like, it's a perfect show to fall asleep to. That's like. true. Moving on to The Big Bang Theory. Now, this is one of these shows that I think is very good, but it's like... I feel like it's one of those shows you never go out of your way to watch, but if it's on, it's you're, on. you're happy. If yeah. I'm at the hotel and I'm yeah. flicking through channels and it comes up, I might leave it on. I've watched a lot of seasons and they were hilarious, but it just, after a while, it's just the banter between but one liners are goaded. Yeah, it's just you know. Actually, I'm gonna put friends at B because I don't feel comfortable putting them on the same same tier. All right, next up we got The Office. Do we even need to discuss nah, this? I'm not like, even gonna say anything. Like, I'm not. Gonna say anything. I've never seen it, but I like the memes. I'll give it an A. 
I've watched this show more than anything we'll on We'll get the G ratings at the end of this video. You know, just for the goaded show, that our favorite shows of all time based off this list. Next up, we got Prison Break. Personally, I failed to watch it. A lot of TV I need to it's catch up old. on, but I'm gonna throw this in the, the D just because it's nostalgic. I haven't seen it. I like that. You, see, you haven't seen a lot, I see. I have not seen a lot. I don't watch a lot of TV. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Live sports guy. Let's go uh, Rick and Morty. Rick, Rick, Rick and Morty, yeah. Anyone want to break a morning? You can. No, no, go ahead. James, break a morning. You want to do it? I don't know how to do it. I don't either. Sorry. I've seen three right. episodes and they were all great, so I'm going to give it an A. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, <laughs> I, I, I'm right there with him. I've seen maybe like the latest season, I've, I think I'm caught up, and I actually do enjoy it, so that's an A for me. I'm going to put it B. It's a good show, but I just have to be in a certain state of mind to be able to watch it. Next up, we got Stranger Things. Now, season one, if we did this video, S tier. It, it, yeah, if they would have left it at that. Bro. But I wasn't like the biggest fan of the last season. And then I'm like, season four, what are they gonna be doing? Like, I, I don't know. So I'm gonna put this at it. Same, I feel like A is my biggest category. Next up, we got South Park. South Park, now, go it, bro. I, South Park. I remember the day when my mom told me I was allowed to watch South Park. I used to have to sneak and watch this show, bro. Yeah. I literally I've, remember the day. I've never got the clearance. When I asked if I could watch it and she said yes. She finally said yes. This is just a goaded franchise. Bro. I don't care what, how controversial, whatever you want to say. I love Why this show. So goaded? They literally just, they, they push show. it, bro. I'm not as big on South Park, to be honest. The thing with me and South Park is some episodes are like, S tier, yeah. like funniest, like up there at the funniest show ever. But then I, for me, most episodes, I just don't find very funny. Who's your favorite South Park character? Favorite South Park character? The dad. I don't know. Probably the dad. The dad of one of the, the oh, stands. Okay. stands. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, dude. I like I Mr. Like Hanky. I like Tally. Was... Tally fell off the wagon. Though. This banter, dude, be getting me. Butters. Down Butters might be my favorite. Down to the last two. <laughs> down to the last two shows. We'll start with Breaking Bad. Now, have you guys seen Breaking Bad? Yes. Or? Religiously. So good. I recently just saw this in during like when COVID just started and I loved it. Now I see where all the hype was. I was not watching it week by week like most people, but it's okay. I kind of like watch Ben. Were you Team Walt or Team Jesse? Like as it was progressing. Walt. Dude, the first like, time I watched it, I was very Team Walt. But then when I rewatched it, I was like kind of Team Jesse. I mean, I get so that, cool. but it's just like Walt is such an asshole to him. It, he Bro, is, but Jesse just kind of like family dog. Yeah, it's like, Jesse was just kind of being a bitch most of the time to me, like, I don't know, like, I get where he was coming from, but it's like, Jesse Walt, was kind of like a dumb kid, though. He was, but Walt was a fucking genius. Oh yeah, Walt was a god. Yeah, dude. that's what I loved about it. He was like, always a step ahead of motherfuckers, and I was like, I yeah, thought he was going to get his ass caught really? so many from times. Episode, seasons three and four, the chicken guy, oh my god. Oh yeah, was that, like the best that was good. Ever. That was the best villain ever. All right, Game of Thrones. Don't even need to discuss, even though the ending was dull meat. Game of Thrones, I'm still mad at you for that last season. You know what, man? I don't know if I can do Simpsons with all these other ones. Dude, I can't put Walking Dead and Game of Thrones in the same. Move but Walking Dead down, down, bro. You know you want to. I'm trying to base everything off of would I watch the show again and enjoy it. That, yeah. like, S tier, you have to be able to watch it again and enjoy it. Also have to factor in sustainability of the show, nostalgia factor, that's huge, obviously, in a human brain. And then I would say widespread fandom. If it's like a, a cult following, I'm not really like, it's hard to put it in S tier. Those are just my, my criteria for S, if anyone's wondering. Probably not, but you know. For the one guy out there that was wondering, that's for you, bro. So I've watched the least TV out of the three of us, so don't crucify me for this list, but I uh, haven't watched a single minute of any of these shows. Yeah, Walking Dead, I've seen a little of it. it was, I honestly thought it was really boring. Uh, South Park, I already talked about. Brooklyn Nine-Nine, I just like Andy Samberg. I actually thought it was kind of boring when I watched it, though, I can't lie. We talked about Big Bang Theory, we talked about Westworld. Game of Thrones, I'll be honest, I've watched some of it. Dude, I can't get into it. The first three episodes are so slow and it so is. boring. I just, I can't it, it is slow. Them. It is slow in the beginning. I, can't, I, I can't just love the medieval it. stuff. So. I haven't seen this, but I like the trailer. Easy A. <laughs> Simpsons. <laughs> Simpsons. Great logic Simpsons is pretty great. Office, I haven't seen it. The memes are great. Rick and Morty's great. And then these are two of my three favorite shows of all time. So. What's the third favorite show? Of Fresh so. Prince of Bel Air. Nice. So. I fucking love that show. I love that. So. so good. James. Yeah. From this list, if you had to pick your G, 
rated, goaded, what is it? Breaking Bad. All right, Zach. All right, I'm gonna start from the bottom up. F tier, friends. It's just an overrated show, bro. Like, I just don't, I, I get like why people liked it, but it's just for me personally, it's not for me. Um, Ballers, haven't seen it, but I like The Rock. He's the highest paid actor right now, so obviously it's gotta be good. Yeah, like, it's gotta be decent. Uh, Big Bang Theory, decent show, but just not, you know, not something I would just sit there and watch. Peaky Blinders, haven't seen it yet. Saw the trailer, love the trailer. Probably something I would like, and I love British television, so. Brooklyn Nine-Nine, I've watched a bunch of it. It was cool, like Chris said, good show to like fall asleep to. Westworld, season one, very good. I like it because it's um, a very uh, intelligent show. Like Chris said, you have to pay attention to everything, but it just started to fall off after the first season. Narcos, haven't seen it yet. Um, I put it in C just because I really don't know a lot about it. I haven't even watched the trailer, but a lot of people say it's good, so I couldn't put it any lower. Prison Break, good show, just a little old, like me, I know. Go ahead, put it in the comments, whatever. <laughs> Walking Dead, great show, fell off. Daredevil, just a mid show. Rick and Morty, have to be in a certain state of mind to watch it, but you know, good show. F is for family. F is for fucking hilarious because that's what the show is. Bojack Horseman, also hilarious. Very good show. Stranger Things, amazing. Simpsons, just a very solid show. Has never died down, always kept at its level. Dexter, literally one of my favorite shows of all time. The ending was uh, extremely subpar as was the show right beside it, Game of Thrones. I love anything medieval because I was born in that time, so it kind of takes me back. It's nostalgic. It's very nostalgic <laughs> for me. The Office, literally my favorite show of all time. I've seen every season, every episode at least four times. I would literally put it on all the time and just let it play. South Park, amazing. Literally has not fallen off at all. And Breaking Bad, of course. It's just, it's Breaking Bad, man. The show's go. Your G tier, go to show. Just one? Just one from this list. Just one? It would have to be The Office. Yeah. I've watched it more than any other show. I've watched it, I've watched The Office more than anything on here combined. So, here's my list. What you uh, got? Peaky Blinders, failed to see it. Daredevil, failed to see it. And I, I didn't even, I haven't even heard about it until today, so that's why I couldn't rank it higher. F is for family. I haven't seen that, but based off Zach's you gotta judgment. Check it out. E is for eager to watch. Um, Bojack Horseman. I I should I want to watch that. Uh, Prison Break, old but I've heard yeah. great things. Dexter, I just put it there for D. Uh, Brooklyn Nine Nine, again. I uh, see a nice cast. Heard good things about it. And yeah, I just think it's kind of mid there. Walking Dead, loved the first two seasons, and it just fell the fuck off. No, it's not, dude. And like, I'm sorry, I had to be a little higher A just because like it's The Walking Dead, a very well-known and established franchise, but who cares? I'm putting that at C. B, Westworld, I did enjoy the first season and then I just stopped watching. And uh, Ballers, same thing, B for Ballin'. I think it's a Ballin' show, check it out. Narcos, I put it here because I, I just, everybody says it's like an S tier, A tier type show. That's all I hear. So and um, so yeah, I haven't taken the time, but I, I, I think I will soon. Friends, something I just turned on going to sleep for, I've probably seen every episode, I'll be honest. I always have to have the TV on when I go to sleep. Great show to go to sleep to. The Simpsons, I grew up watching that. I love it, still love it. I haven't watched it as much, but I'm just a lot older and it just doesn't interest me, so that's why I couldn't really put it on the S tier. I had it up there at the beginning, but- I did too, I had to move it. You know, uh, Stranger Things, great show. Again, it's just the last season kind of made me take it off the S tier. Big Bang Theory, again, great show, just too many episodes. Um, and I just feel like S tier, if it's something that I would rewatch, you know, and I would not rewatch the big thing theory. <laughs> Rick and Morty, just got into it this past year. I actually think it's really funny. I, I enjoy the comedy behind it um, and just the animation. I think it's dope. It's not relatable, but. Depends. Yeah. It <laughs> depends on what, what you relate to, okay? And that's tier. Game of Thrones, yeah, the last season was dog shit, but I, I still think it's a, it's a goaded show. The Office, I'll be honest, I think I'm like Zach. I've probably seen more of this than everything combined just because, again, this was also a show I like to just watch. I need, to, put it I need on, to watch bro. The Office. And the really memes, bro. Like the you would memes, really like it. Like, once, if you haven't watched it and you see the memes, when you do watch it, you, you'll find the memes even funnier. Um, same with South Park. 
Uh, that's something I just binged the f out of when I was younger. Bro, low key. Breaking Bad. Dwight Schrute. <laughs> that, I mean. If you know, you if know. If you know, you know. Uh, Breaking Bad, that was a show I just got into as well during, uh, you know, quarantine. Thank God, I was one of those people that was like, eh, it's not that great, it's not that good. Got into it, fucking amazing. That good. It yeah, is, that, it is good. that good. But my goat tier, this is tough for me. I have to go with, I gotta go with Breaking Bad as my, my goat, goated show here, just because the thrill I got from that TV show, yeah. it was unmatched. Yeah. Um, I was point. always on the edge of my seat, and you know, I was like that with Game of Thrones until the fucking last season. And yeah, that's our tier list, boys. Comment down below which tier list you like the best or related the best. I think it's all subjective here, so there's no wrong tier list. Go watch some shows, and then I'll see you guys again soon. Make sure you guys subscribe to these guys. Links down below. See you guys again soon. Peace!